I want you to not not dispel a myth, but the way that singers have these very specific requirements for their their vocal to be open. I'm very cynical and I believe that's psychosomatic, but I've heard like Fonte clap back every now and then by saying like, no, that's real. But can you explain to me what is the deal with like with artists that are, you know, they can't have air conditioning on because they're it's broke my clothes or this is real. It your vocal cords will clam up from the cold air. I have gotten sick. I remember singing, what was it called? Biscuits and Blues in New York. Whatever that is. Uh, Where's that it, at? It was a, I want some Biscuits club. and Blues. Right? It was some, <laughs> some Blues like right Club, now. but it's closed now. Okay. I literally, the air conditioning was right here, blowing into my face. As I'm opening my mouth, it just dried my vocals out. Okay. And you can hear, as I'm singing the show, my voice slowly go away, cracks, everything. It, I said, can you turn the air off? They wouldn't turn it off because it was too, it was underground. It was a club in New York on Broadway, but I can't remember it, the name of it, but it's gone now. But it was, it, it, it just took my vocals out and we had to stop the show. It, it's better when it's warm, it keeps it fluid you have uh the i don't want to sound gross but you need it to be, to be wet in there <laughs> you need water you need moisture you need you need your vocal cords they they're really thin and they have to flap you should know <laughs> wet, wet. come on with the wet, wet. i don't sing i yell <laughs> you yell yeah you do no, yell. Well, i've heard no. you yell many times <laughs> no but it's just i i i don't know just there's certain I'll look at the writers of singers and, you know, some things I'll, I'll know, like, okay, well, they need lemon and honey and da 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 whatever. Yeah, I don't but, do any of that stuff, but yeah, I get it too. So do you have a warm up process before you get on stage or? Yeah, I don't talk at all. I do the Celine Dion thing. My room is at 80, 80 degrees, like Luther. And what about uh, the sweats though, Lynn? The sweat. Yeah, the sweat is good. It, okay. I sing all the high notes. Fonte knows. He knows. It just feels good. It makes you ready to go. Oh, it's funny. Fonte do be sweating and it'd be hot when I go see him sing on stage. That might be true. <laughs> yeah, man. And yeah. then I have a um, steamer. I steam my vocal cords. See, that's heat. Okay. And it's making it loose and everything. It opens all your chest. It's kind of like when you put vapor rub all over and it goes, Phew. that's how you want your vocal cords to stay open. So it is a real thing for me. The good ones, the real singers, do that kind of stuff. <laughs> the ones an... that, that sing like classical, they they don't like all that. Because by the time you're um... on the stage, too, it's freezing cold. So you might as well stay warm. So that's what I do. Okay. And I don't drink a lot of liquids. And I, um, yeah, I, the steaming is incredible. I also, opera singer turned me on to the citron tea that's really good. But I, I love that.